guys, we are on our, oh, I guess I forgot to change the name for this. We are on our um, literature interactive notebook number three. We change the name of this real quick. There we go. Literature Interactive Notebook number three. Uh, we've worked on inferences, we worked on theme. Today we're going to be working on story elements. And one of the story elements we're going to be focusing on is characters. Once we focus on characters in the story, you guys are going to have to compare and contrast different characters. Now this can be um, a review on the text structure compare and contrast that we already worked on. And I feel for the most part, this is a, a concept and a skill that we, we're pretty solid on. We don't need a whole lot of time on it. But just a quick reminder for comparing and contrasting, uh, typically what you'll see is a Venn diagram. And I know there's not a Venn diagram on this assignment, but this will just help you visualize what it is we're doing. So when you compare and contrast, um, the areas that are shaded the same uh, or they overlap are what people or what characters have in common with one another. Okay, we just write common right here. Okay, and then the areas that are different, so this area and this area where they're not touching, those are what they have um, different from one another. Again, we're not using a Venn diagram for this activity, but we're using the same concept. You are going to be given two characters and you're going to have to identify what they have in common. And then you're going to have to identify what they don't have in common or how they're different from one another. So if you go and look at our text for today, I will read it to you and I will go over the um, questions that go with it. This text is called Opposites Attract. And it says, Ben and Sal were best friends. They both lived on Hartman Street, both with a bedroom window that faced the backyard. Both attended the same school and had the same sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Sanders. But beyond that, they were nothing alike. Ben grew up in the same town that he lives in now, while Sal was born in Italy and moved to America just a few years ago. Ben and his family speak English at home, while Sal and his family speak Italian. Ben loves football and Sal loves soccer. Ben only knows how to make a grilled cheese, but Sal can cook better than most of the moms on their block. But beyond their cultural differences, Ben and Sal remain best friends. They learn from one another and laugh about their misunderstandings. Sometimes being different from one another is the best formula for a long-lasting friendship. So it says compare the two main characters. I would like you to write down at least two or three sentences comparing the two main characters, Ben and Sal. Then I want you to contrast the two main characters. Again, I'd like you to write two or three sentences on how you can contrast or find differences between the two main characters, Ben and Sal. After you do that, you are also gonna have your reflecting and writing. What skill did you learn? Summarize the skill in your own words. How did this text help you understand the skill? And how will you use what you have learned to practice the skill in the future? That's it for this interactive re um, notebook. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you have questions, though, I'm always here for you. Good luck and oh, you caught me mid on. Good luck and take care.